everyone, it's me, and welcome back to my channel for another part of the series that's really let's fight for our new We are back, and we're doing good, guys. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. We had a little bit of an issue this week, this past week, where um, my Sims were not aging up, and it was a huge scare. Literally almost lost almost five years of gameplay, storytelling, and, like, literally my life. Um, because once the glitch happened, it happened across all my neighborhoods and was messing up every single, um, neighborhood and people were just not aging or I was getting aging notifications that people's birthdays were coming up when it was nowhere near their birthday. And I was, uh, having a meltdown. I was trying really hard to keep it together, but we had a meltdown, a smidgen one, a little one. It was a kind of a teeny weeny bitty one. Um, and I was tweeting about it, and I talked about it in the uh, Sims Life Stories Part 1. If you haven't watched that yet, you should go ahead and watch that, because it, it'll be, it's going to be tons of fun. I, I can anticipate this. Um, and I found out there's something wrong. Uh, there's something, not something wrong, but I'm not able to set my sims birthdays sooner than the natural story progression um i've tried it with the bull props treat i've tried it i've tried aging them up sooner with a mod and i've tried aging them up with the elixir of life when um it doesn't age you down but ages you forward three days and all three um will mess up my game so I can't even like use the aspiration reward to age them up sooner. Um, and that kind of sucks because um, you may have noticed that all of my Sims in Pleasant View, technically they should be around the same age because they started all the same age, but they're not. Um, so we're going to kind of just deal with it. Like um, I maybe shouldn't have aged up Cassandra quite yet. Um, maybe held off on her aging up. But I didn't know that was going to happen. So it's already, it's already as it is. Um, so we're going to just kind of deal with it. Like, let's pretend that like, you know, we got like Botox or like we are technically older, but like Cassandra's decided to go like full silver hair and um, not do any like plastic surgery. And let's just pretend that like Dawn and Nina and Dina and Brandy, <laughs> they're all just like been taking care of themselves or they paid a little something to go and like get something done to the faces and dyed their hair and stuff so that they look younger. But really, we're all the same age, kind of, you know, like some people look older than others. Anyways, I am uh, just I'm going on and on and on. So it is Monday. We're starting everyone off on a Monday here. And Nina was pregnant last time we saw her and we've given birth. We gave birth to a beautiful baby girl and her name is Carmen. And I am so freaking excited that we have a baby girl. I think Dawn is really already attached to her. Like he loves Dante. Dante's his boy. Um, He's a good kid, and Don and Dante have a spectacular relationship. Like, for someone that is as um, <laughs> questionable as Don, he loves his kids. He absolutely loves his kids, and um, she is becoming one with his body right now. Um, but they are so freaking cute, and he, I think, maybe, maybe... Um, that little miss, uh, Carmen is going to melt his heart and possibly, possibly kind of change him as a, as a man. Cause like, look at this, look how cute they are. Oh my God. She loves it. She's a sweetheart and she's going to be a heartthrob because Dante is a heartthrob. Um, something new happening with Dante. I kind of want to wait for him to come home for us to talk about him. Um, but Nina is just technically supposed to go back to work today, but she's going to uh, use this day as a maternity leave. Probably use up most of her vacation days. And um, actually, he has vacation days too. We might go on a trip with the Lotharios. That might be fun. Um, Dante does age up in 10 days and he is, um, 
he does have some scholarships to university. So he probably will be going to university uh, when he gets around that age, but he's doing well. I want him to get one more scholarship. Um, Don uh, was like hustling his little tushy off and brought home an additional 40,000 simoleons last night um, from his work as a professional party guest. So, you know, that's just what happens in like life. Um, and I'm really excited about it because we ran out of money when I was renovating and I had to, you know, make some concessions and stuff. So now we're, we're, we're ready to like spend our money. We're ready to like get what we need to done. So I'll definitely be upgrading things like the bathroom. I've already upgraded slightly, but I will upgrade some more. I've already upgraded our beds to be higher quality and, um, his desk, um, but I will add some more and I want to add more to like our roof patio because I feel like this is like something, um, more so for summer, even though we're heading into winter and it's the end of fall right now, but I want it to, um, have a little more oomph and pizzazz that we can use. So yeah, that's that. I'm, um, I'm ready for <laughs> anything. I gave Nina a little bit of a makeover, but I kind of want to change her everyday outfit and um, give her something. It is fall time. I mean, this is kind of fall attire, but I kind of want... Uh-oh, dog barking. Um, I don't know why she has all, like, black and white dresses. Like, what happened? I thought I got her pink stuff. No... No, no. Yeah, why do I have all black and white stuff? Uh, no, we'll just leave it. She wears pink. She's Nina. She wears pink. I want you, Gussie, out practice some romance for a little bit. Uh, possibly. She's also trying to, like, clean the house constantly. And, like, the two boys uh, just, like, take forever to do anything. Um, well, Actually, one person I want to invite over um, today is our sister Dina. Uh, Nina's been hearing about the rumors of Dina and Alexander Goth and um, she is uh, she is concerned. Cassandra called her up um, last part and was telling Nina what Dina is doing and how it's affecting everything and um, and Nina's worried for sure and um and Nina is not, you know, Nina's not a dramatic person. She, oh, look, Brandy's here too. I was just thinking about Brandy because she, she totally called up Nina the other day and was telling her about her big news <laughs> and as well telling her about what happened between her and Cassandra Goth. And um, Nina's like, you know, I'm coming over and see, oh, see, they're already gossiping about Alexandra and Dina. Um, but yeah, she's, um, Brandy's telling her about what she saw with Cassandra, and then Dina pops up, and Brandy's like, oh my god, no way. So, um, Brandy also wants to tell them about their, about her, her new love interest, but, um, but Nina needs to, oh, okay, you two can, like, stop. Um, but Nina needs to chat with Dina and kind of get this figured out, because, Nina's concerned like she she loves her sister and she doesn't want her to you know get dragged into any unnecessary business especially when she's got a little one on the way and you know I want I want um I want Dina to have a good life like Dina I feel she's not totally a terrible person like I feel like I'm painting her out to be a really bad person but she's really not. She's actually a really, really good, like, she's a good person. And Nina knows this because the two of them get along now. We've had our ups and downs with Miss um, Dina, but um, we now get along really well. And we're, we're doing our best. <laughs> and as sisters and, you know, the only family left, um, we need to look out for one another. So... So, you know, Nina takes it really seriously and she wants Dina to, I don't know, I guess focus on, oh, you know, we can end your services. I don't need you here. Um, we want Dina to 
focus on her family and focus on things that are going to make like that really really matter and not get caught up in all of this like money stuff and things like that and um and yeah i don't i don't know it's, it's hard but you know nina nina is not really the best person to um you know get in between drama and things like that so we don't want like, to talk with brandy i think like all sitting on the couch together and like having like a nice conversation we all get reset uh, where are we going? Oh, da Dante, just hand, uh, hand Carmen to your mother. She needs to change he diapy. And then, um, and then let's put her on her, um, dangle thingy. If people would move. Thank you. Uh, okay, cool. So, I don't know. Dina, I want them to have, like, a proper conversation. So, I'm gonna put them up on the roof really quickly because there's just too many distractions. Um between all of us right now, and Dawn can take care of uh, Carmen, no problemos. So I'm gonna just wait till she gets up here and then call, call her over. And we'll turn off the stereo. I wanna like sit for a second and wait for Dina to pop upstairs. Dawn, why, Dawn is just following us like all over. Oh, oh, did he just like kiss her? What the frick? Um, okay, I want to chat and I want to possibly argue with her just a little bit. Like, enough to try and see if Dina can, like, get things going. Like, get, get Dina to change her mind. Like, like you're pregnant with Malcolm Landgrab's child. Um, I don't know. I've heard, she, Nina's like, I've heard some rumors about Malcolm and how, um, how violent he is and, like, things like that. Oh, is that the, uh, oldies house? <gasps> I'm like looking, I'm like, whose gravestones are those? Um, she's like, she's heard things about his family and like, she just wants to make sure that Dina is safe and that Dina's going to be okay. And she's not in over her head. And Dina's like, I'm totally fine. I'm totally in control and things are going great. And Nina's like, but at what cost? Like you're get getting into a huge fight with the goths again. And like, we've already had so many issues. Like look what happened with you and Michael. And Dina's like, don't you dare bring up Michael to me. She's like, you know what we have to do. And Nina's like, I haven't heard anything. We haven't been in contact with our family in years. And you think that we still have to carry out the plan air quotes the plan and dean is like i'm done like you can't she's like if you've given up that's your choice but i'm gonna follow through and nina's like i i don't even know what to do or say and poor brandy's down here and brandy just really wants to tell people her good news and nina's just like i really can't right now i i need to say goodbye to you like i really can't talk right now I'm sorry. And Brandy's like, oh, that's totally fine. I'll just, I'll just go off on my own. I just wanted some advice, but you know, it's fine. And leaves, I feel really bad for Brandy. Like Brandy is a good egg and she was just trying to take care of her, like her friends and watch out for her sister. And she's, um, kind of being ignored and not getting like as much, um, love and support as she really probably should but there's just so much going on and um we said bye to dina but dawn's like sitting on the side like why why can't i like why aren't i involved like why am i pushed to the side like this he's feeling kind of like look at him he wants to be the freaking center of attention like look at this guy if this isn't like the center of attention type person i don't know what is I don't know, but he's making drinks. That's kind of cool. Carmen's just playing with her thingies. Look at her. Can I zoom in on her? Look at her. Oh, she eating her foot. Stop it. Oh, and, and then she passes out. Cool. That's cool, honey. Um, we have no food. Uh, I guess we got to call, um, get some delivery. So, oh, you know what? Let's a freaking order a pizza. And then, of course, I will, um... Of course, I will also grab some groceries because um, we can't have um, can't have that. 
can have that. I should really go to like a, go on a trip to the grocery store one day to buy our groceries. I think that would be like much better. <laughs> but um, you know, whatever. We're gonna have pizza tonight for dinner. I think that's gonna be yum yums. I want to turn off that stereo so Carmen, if she wants to um, take a nap, she can. And um, Dante. Okay. Well, while we're getting pizza, honey, you can like. Oh, stop that you can oh, hang on you know what i need to do i want to turn off clickable neighbors off thank you because i'm i'm done with that pop-up coming up look at him doing his devlapes like a oh that that i don't I, that releve yes honey in first position honey get it um okay dante dante's been a busy boy over the weekend and like that's really can you stop oh my god it drives me mental Come accept delivery and Dawn, can you put her here and accept the groceries? Um, Dante's been a busy boy these past couple days. How many times are you going to freaking use the bar? <laughs> can you come away? Here we go. Okay. He went on a couple dates over the weekend. His first date with two different people. Let me just preface this because this guy oh, is his father's son and you know the lotharios don't just date one person like ever it is a it is a, a thing to um <laughs> to be seeing multiple people at once he's playing the field so first up was lisa dreamer we went on a date with lisa dreamer and it was magical it was fantastic she's such an interesting and fun person and dante really really likes her and she really really likes him and she's only a little bit younger than him like a year and a bit and they just had a lot in common and we played games we played cards we danced and then like we totally like made out with each other and like it was it was freaking magical it was a dream date all went really really well and then we invited bill dreamer over and we were like hanging out upstairs and like listening to some music and talking and Dante and Bill have had this magnetic attraction to each other for so very long. And Dante is the kind of person to just be like, I want to try it. When Dante wants something, he, he kind of goes for it. And he has the charisma and the looks and the charm to just get away with freaking anything. And so he just went ahead and totally made some moves on Bill. And Bill couldn't contain himself. Um, they like made out, they were on a date. Um, it was amazing. And so now we have, um, three loves, uh, in our life right now. Cause we also got Lindsay Baina and we haven't spoken to her in a long time, but you know, that's, uh, that's how it, how it's going. So that's kind of the scoop with Dante and he is he's feeling really really good about himself and like even though he's totally um like he needs to make a decision at some point but for now in this moment we're experimenting right now and you know i'm i'm happy dina and nina and don saw dante with um bill and they kind of know that he was doing some things with Lindsay and the two of them were just like so accepting. Um, Nina actually like went out of her way to like chat with Bill a little bit more um, and like hang out. Um, Dante had taken Lysa out on a date so um, they didn't meet her. But Bill came over to the house and Nina made burgers and Bill ate them with the family. And like it was just like it was great. It was it was lovely. And oh, who knocked over our trash can what the heck um it was really really lovely and i don't know it like i took screenshots of bill and dante and let me just say that like it, they look really good together like i might pop some in right now because like i was just like oh my god like him and lisa looked good together too but like 
and they just they just looked really really good together so uh dante should technically do his homework but i can he kind of doesn't really want to he like it's nothing big he could do it tomorrow um we got our payment for taking our maternity leave vacation day and right now we're looking for birds at night that's not how that works honey uh, we're playing kicky sack how Ooh, excuse me how romantic um but i'm actually gonna go ahead and end the part here i guess so if you guys are enjoying the series do give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe for more as i put them out fairly regularly um let me know your thoughts and comments down below who do you think dante should like you know spend some more time with do you want to see him with lisa do you want to see him with bill he doesn't have to make a decision right away um, do you think Nina, um, got through to Dina at all? Like, is Dina going to be, like, okay? And is Dante going to get involved in any of this drama? Like, there's Cassandra and Dina and Alexander, all, all this drama's happening, and John is just kind of, um, chilling. He'll age up in about, um, six days. Oh, fudge. Do you know what? I don't think they aged up tonight. Uh, okay, we're gonna just hope and pray that, like, this is still okay. Um, but, um, they're supposed to be aging, and I don't think they did. Um, but I'll, I'll double check it, but this part is still, like, fine for now. Because we know what we gotta do. Um, so, oh, don't worry, guys, I'm not worrying. Don't panic. Uh, I love you guys so very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>